Hey, you blokes, it's uh, Jason Nuttall. Do, going to attempt another video. We'll see how it goes. I uh, Last couple of times I tried to do this, it didn't go very well. The uh, For some reason, the streaming like, quit on me. I don't know why. It's too much technology for me. So I'm just going to wait a couple minutes to see if anybody shows up. I know it can be kind of pretty boring to watch something like this, but you're the one that clicked on to watch. It's your fault. I find myself delightful. So uh, I did a drawing actually with one of my online um, art classes. Uh, Basically, what I did was the I had a, only two students show up for a session, so I uh, decided to just you know we discussed a little bit of what needed to be done for the class, and the rest of the time we one of them wanted to learn how to draw Popeye, one wanted to learn how to draw um, Spider-Man, so I did a little combination. I'm also kind of um, I'm inviting people to to, to the this session. I'm gonna try working with inks. Let's see, like Win Windsor Newton inks. I've only used them a couple of times. Um, kind of limited in what I have, so the colors aren't gonna be exactly how I want them to be. I know that for a fact. Uh, I'm trying to think of different people to invite. I can't remember anybody right now. <laughs> Got a miserable memory. Uh, and this is actually this isn't the original drawing here. This is actually um, a cheapo copy, just to kind of play with. So the pencil lines aren't actual pencil lines; they're ink. So I'm hoping that my uh, I'm sure that the ink isn't going to be dark enough to cover up those lines but oh well I wanted to show my students how to draw like a face with guidelines and then I didn't want them to erase the guidelines because I wanted them to um, be able to use it as reference later So I think that's that'll do it for now. So I actually really like doing these uh, mashups. I think they're fun. Nice combination of the superhero comics that I grew up with with the cartoon characters, and of course, it being Popeye is a bonus. I like how in this uh, ink, it's deep. It says it's deep red, but it actually comes there. It's a little bit deeper. But I have to saturate my paper, and this is just normal copy paper, so it's not absorbing well. And it's probably going to end up tearing on me. But the advantage to this, uh, the ink, is it does spread pretty well. Once I get everything colored and uh, dry, I'll start to bring in the, I'll start to do the inking, tracing over the lines with a black pen. Might not be able to do it for this at this juncture. 
during this session, but we'll see. And feel free if you are watching, feel free to ask some questions or make comments. I'm keeping an eye on the the chat in case anybody shows up. Anybody else shows up? Thanks, fellas, for coming. Now, when I was drawing with my class, I got a little carried away, and I wasn't paying it. I wasn't thinking about some of the details of Spider-Man's costume, so I had to do some waiting out before I started this video. For the most part, I'm just going to work with flat colors with this. I might bring in some shadows. We'll see how it goes. Wow, that looks really orange on screen, doesn't it? It's kind of a pinkish. It kind of jumps drastically from a pinkish red to a dark red. I don't know why I didn't finish drawing olive oil originally. You can't see it, but I forgot to give her her little collar. And I still have to draw her other arm or her arms, which I'll do after the fact, actually. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh, I don't have any paper towel. I'll have to wash this later. I don't usually talk to myself that this much, but I figure it would it should it should help um, with the video not having dead silence. Now here's a t nice test because I didn't actually have any white out to make to cover my mistakes that I mentioned earlier. All I had was white acrylic paint, and it is. And it's cheap white acrylic paint. So we'll see how ink works over top of acrylic once I get to the forearms. That's a lot darker than I planned, but oh well. I could do a wash where I'd add some water to my color and just do different tones of blue, but I'm just going to stick with one tone. Or as close to one tone as I can get. Because I'm on camera. And I don't want to. Make a, an extremely long video. Oops, it's way too much, too dark.
And of course, this is, if you couldn't tell, this is a, a little parody of uh, the Spider-Man movie, the first Spider-Man movie, the Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst one. Okay, so the ink on the acrylic doesn't look too bad. It does lighten up the blue, which I would prefer the lighter blue anyways, but it kind of stands out from the rest of the blue. I forgot that I do have some water here to wash my brushes. I just don't have any paper towel. There, just add a little bit of water to my ink. I want to do like a uh, like a rainy background. I can just do either water, or I mean not water, but light blue, which that is not light. The streaks. And I can always bring in a little bit more detail later. And I can also take some white out or some acrylic paint. And bring in some like stripes for the rain. But I want to try to keep a fairly consistent uh, vertical brush stroke. So it appears like the uh, that it's a rainfall. Oh my, that's way too dark, but it's okay for the corners. Oops, let's... And I try when I have to paint around a subject, I try to paint from the subject outward. That way there's less chance of accidentally painting over the subject. Fun little fact about the movie Spider-Man from this that this scene is based on. Tobey Maguire almost drowned doing this because the way the uh, the water was running down on him and Kirsten Dunst, and it was pooling in his mat. The water was pooling in his mask. And it, there are many different points that where he couldn't breathe because of it. Especially when at the, the part where they were actually kissing.
I don't know if it's really a fun fact. Depends on how sick and sick you are. I myself find it very fun. Now I don't have any actual ink for the the skin tone for these two, so what I'm going to do is use my Copic markers for the flesh color, and I'm going to have to add in Olive's uh, hand and everything later. But I want to kind of block a space, so I don't accidentally paint over it. Oh, and we want to add a little bit of blue tone to olive oil's hair. Maybe a little bit on her collar. There. And yes, I know that the background does not look like rain. Quit badgering me about it. Oh, great. Now I get to hear from the peanut gallery. The kid that just came in, Rebecca, is one of my worst critics. She comes to sessions just to harass me. I've talked to Facebook about it, but they don't do anything. There we go. So I don't want to do too much background behind Spidey Popeye because his body is kind of blocking the water. But at the same time, there is still rain behind him. So I have to show that. I still need to use yellow. Oh, never mind. Okay, I need everyone to turn away for a minute because I'm going to cheat. There. You didn't see nothing. And yes, it is improper English. I've come to really enjoy Copic markers. However, all I have are the flesh co flesh colors. And the like basic colors are really expensive. Stupid phone keeps going off. There. Whoops, and that is a very 
dull skin tone, I see. So I'm going to have to go darker for some shading. Rebecca, watch your tone. Okay, so normally I would use better. All right, so I think that's going to be it for today. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a day. I might finish this with the inking later. Uh, on a different video so hopefully you enjoyed it if you want to see me ink this on camera um, send me a message somehow or a comment on here so uh, thanks for coming and I'll talk to you later